Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Kikus and I'm here to do a review on Vinland Saga chapter 114 and 115. Um, I read chapter 114 yesterday because I never even noticed it came out. And chapter 115 came out today, so I thought... <coughs> I'm sorry. So I thought I'd do a double review, two, two chapters in one. Um, so yeah, the two chapters were amazing. I think they're the best chapters that have come out in a while so I'm just gonna give a brief uh, short summary of what they're what's, what's happening and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts because there's a lot of stuff happening in chapter 115 and yeah we're gonna get in <laughs> we're gonna get to that later so first uh, chapter 114 opens with uh, Gudrid and she is amazed by all the trees that she's seeing because back in Iceland where she's from the trees were small and these trees in Norway, because they're already in Norway, they've passed quite a few uh, miles since chapter 113. So we've gone uh, forward in time a bit and that's okay. Um, yeah, she's amazed by all these trees and all these big things around her. And yeah, life just says, um, these are just normal trees and every tree you will see from now on will be pretty much this big. Um, so they go uh, on shore in Norway to, you know, cook and eat and stuff. And then all of a sudden, uh, Gudrid sees something on top of a hill. And they are all joking like, yeah, it's a bear, it's a bear. But, and Gudrid gets a bit scared because she doesn't know that here bears hibernate and that they sleep during the winter. So she gets scared and everyone's having a laugh. And then it turns out that it really was a bear and the bear starts attacking them and this is where the action comes in in chapter 114 we're finally gonna see Edel Thorfinn fight like we've seen him fight a little bit before but that was just self-defense so now we're gonna see him go all out against the bear and he just tells everyone to run and then he gra grabs uh, Gudrid's knife out of her uh, like thing around her waist grabs her knife and just goes head to head with this bear but while fighting he notices how how fast the bear actually is and how it's just too fast for him to keep up the fight so and Einar sees this and he grabs the pot they were cooking in and he starts beating it trying to get the attention of the bear and yeah and then all of a sudden out of nowhere uh, a shot an arrow flies straight through uh, the pan that Einar was holding and just instantly kills the bear and they were like what, what, the, what the fuck was that and then this girl shows up out of nowhere and that's the end of chapter 114 and then in chapter 115 we get introduced to this girl and she has like a, a big uh, mark on her face like underneath her eye and it looks like a wine stain um, if you don't know what that is just google wine stain uh, which is it's, it's a it's a birthmark, and yeah, she uh, introduces herself and she's skinning the bear, and yeah, they're gonna cook up the bear. She introduces herself. Her name is Hild, um, and she tells that the bear was actually uh, woke up from hibernation and was killing off livestock in the area, and she was asked by the villagers to kill the bear, so she did it. And we see Thorfinn, he got a bit uh, hurt during the fight with the bear and he just takes out his, uh, takes off his clothes for a bit and we see all these scars over his body and I'm pretty sure that's from the time that he was a slave that he got beat with like whips and shit because like everywhere on his body there are scars, he has, he's, even has a, a scar on his face. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's see, I, I have a little cheat sheet over here with what happened. Uh, oh yeah, then Gild uh, said she's a female hunter and Gudrid, who is a female sailor, just asked how did that come to be? Like, didn't your parents, parents protest or something? Because Gudrid's parents sure did when she said she wanted to become a sailor. And then she tells how whole everyone in her family got killed, like her mother, her brother, uh, no, not actually her brother, just her and her parents, if I recall correctly. And then she tells how her complete village was raided and everyone was killed by a band of thieves who were led by, and you're not gonna believe it, it was Askelad who led the band of thieves that killed everyone in their village. 
And then she told them that she and her dad, um, which was the village chief that Ascalad was actually uh, killing every all these people for because he wanted to kill the village chief, they ran through the forest to escape, but they were spotted by a young warrior. And you, you, yeah, I'm just so like amazed by this storytelling. Like the young warrior was Thorfinn, and Thorfinn just straight up slices the dad's neck open and kills the the uh, hill's dad. And so she just tells that she um, can remember that name, what what they called him very clearly, and that it was Thorfinn. And everyone's like, what the fuck? And Gudrid's like, no, that can't be. Thorfinn wouldn't do that. And then we get a shot of Thorfinn's face. And he's like, he's really troubled by this. You can see him sweating. And like, he's fucked up with uh, by this. And yeah, he just stands up and he says, yeah, it was me. I, I killed your father. I, I was the one who was with the bandits, with Askeladd. And he says he remembers her. And then Hill just gets up. Grabs her crossbow because she killed the bear with a crossbow and just straight up points it at Thorfinn and that's where chapter 115 ends and whoo man there was so much action and storytelling and just all these things going on in just two chapters and um, yeah these chapters are called The Hunter and the Hunted uh, chapter 140 was one and chapter 150 was two so I think like with the Feather Turn chapters who all had the Feather Turn 1 all the way through 9 I think this is gonna be like another small arc, like another small story. Uh, so I, I don't think uh, Thorfinn will die in next chapter. I, I do think she's gonna shoot. I'm sure she's gonna shoot. I think she's determined to to kill Thorfinn, but I I don't think he's gonna die next chapter because then the series would end, of course. But I I, I am sure we're gonna see a, a sort of some sort of epic battle next chapter between Hild and Thorfinn, or somehow uh, Einar or life or somehow someone could stop her before she shoots or I don't know man I just think next chapter is gonna be amazing and I'm super excited for it I just had two uh, chapters of Finland Saga in two days and Finland Saga is my favorite manga series so yeah I'm pretty excited and man the art in these chapters it was amazing like always uh, some of the art in the last few uh, chapters were a bit shaky for Yukimura standards. They were still like beautiful, but for his standards they were a bit shaky because he was on hiatus for a couple of months. He was sick, so I understand. But in these two chapters, the art was on par with everything else. Probably one of the best art I've seen in Villain Saga so far. Especially uh, Thorfinn's face when he gets confronted by how he killed this girl's father. Or woman. She's a woman now. And yeah. Just this shows how how much Thorfinn has changed. He just stands up and confesses, "Yeah, it was me. I I killed your father." He doesn't get aggressive. He just yeah. This shows how his rebel rebel teen years how they've really gone away and how he's truly a different person right now than he was at the start of the series. And that's just super good character development. And I just love character development in the series. And that's also why. Villain Saga is my favorite manga series because the character development is just incredible. Like the way you see Thorfinn's ev evolve, actually, like the way he thinks. He starts off a killing machine, then he's on the farm and he's like brain dead. He just follows orders around, just does what everyone tells him to do, and then he meets Einar, and then he just changes more and more and more. And now he's going to create Vinland, he's going to make a land and they're going to Greece to sell these things, to make money, to to truly make a, a peaceful land where everyone can live. And that's just great storytelling, great character development. Yeah, I just love it. So have you read Vinland Saga? Have you read these two chapters? Uh, let me know what you thought about it in the comments and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on another video.